All right, look at what we have here. We have another Beckett's mission. This is, uh, I want to say 19 cards. Uh, it's the first of three we're expecting in the next month or so. And uh, <laughs> I've been very excited for it. So let's go ahead and dig in. As always, cardpunk.games, best source for sealed products. And let's get to it. It's a very hefty box, honestly. All right. All right, so let's see. Okay, so this goes face down. Uh, so almost all of these are Weiss. Uh, I did not... Aw, that's a silver label. That's disappointing. Uh, I did not cheat, so I don't know... Oh, okay, well... These ones are actually the opposite way, but okay. So I did just cheat uh, on one of them. All right. So I'm pretty sure there's 19. There's some amount. Oh, that's black. Oh, I don't remember everything I sent in. I'm going to be honest. There, There's some black labels. Okay, I'm no longer upset about the silver label. We will look at the silver label first, though. I am kind of interested in what that could be. Uh, we got two silver labels. Really surprised about that. Uh, I remember one thing I think could be a silver label is an Eris SP. Uh, I do remember that one kind of looked like shit. I'm gonna be honest. The person sold it to me, and then they swore up and freaking down. It was beautiful. Uh, it was not. So we are going to save the black labels for last because they're very exciting. And let's just check out the two silver labels first. And first one is... Oh, come on. That sucks. That cross-graded from uh, PSA 10. All right, we're going to have to get more copies of the Ghislaine SP. Oh, that really sucks. They, they took a lot off for corners. 8.5. What the fuck? For corners? You want crack? What the shit? I see like the smallest little nudge in one of the corners. That really sucks. I've never seen something go from PSA 10 to a BGS 9 before. I'm really hoping this isn't the SSP because that one, uh, it's going to be a little more expensive to replace. Man, that just really stinks. From PSA 10 to a PGS 9. Alright, what's our other 9? Presumably 9. Okay. Uh, I actually did think this was really good, though. I thought this was going to get a 9.5. Uh, apparently they saw something on the surface, though, but... I have it. Uh, finding one of these is just impossible. Uh, I think uh, there's a little something up there that I don't remember seeing at the top left corner. Oh, a little bit down there too. Okay. Well, I thought this was going to be a 9.5, but I think I remember seeing the one on the bottom left corner, but I don't remember seeing the one at the top left. Alright, well... That's a little disappointing, but we got three black labels here. So uh, that definitely makes up for it. Uh, okay, let's go on to the gold labels first. And our first one is going to be Silphet. Okay. Uh, I think we sent two of these in, actually. One was a cross grade. The label on that's a little fucked up, though. Like, they're scratching on the label randomly. That's interesting. And it looks bent from here. I might have to send that back in to get them to fix that label. Not a huge fan of it. Uh, so, maybe it was the SP we cross-graded. I don't remember. It was either the SP or the SSP. Uh, I think we have additional ones. Maybe a couple of the SP. I'm not really sure. Uh, it hasn't been too long, but honestly, I forgot all of these almost. Okay. I know the majority are Mashoku, but that's it. All right, we got a 9.5 on the Judge promo. Talk about things that are impossible to find, actually. Uh, this thing is just 
nowhere on the internet for some reason. I really don't understand it. It is just real difficult to find. Uh, luckily, uh, one of my friends, Ryan, who... He was either one of my first subscribers or one of my first commenters on a video ever. I'm not sure which it was. Uh, but he was one of those, and he happened to have one, so we were able to pick one up at a reasonable price. Which, I mean, if you can't find them on the internet, reasonable price is kind of an abstract concept, I guess. But uh, I was happy with the number, he was happy with the number, so I wouldn't call it a good price. Alright, next we have El Beto, trial deck version. Alright, apparently the centering was a little off, that's too bad. Uh, that would have been a cool black label to get. Uh, and at least so far, none of these are for sale. Well, that Ghislaine might be the 9 at some point, but so far, none of these are going to be for sale for the record. Alright, so they say the centering's a little off. Fair enough. Uh, I might take another look at it, because I remember it being pretty good. And, uh, we might see if we need to resubmit that at some point. Alright. Our next gold label is, ooh, oh, yeah, I have three of these in here, actually. Uh, I was looking for one, and I found a guy with three, so I was like, fuck it, I'll buy three, whatever. Um, I Actually, I might have only submitted one in this order and two in the bulk order. I'm not entirely sure, but we got the Mordred. Uh, Y'all know I love Mordred, so I'm glad we got a 10 on her for the uh, round table rare. Uh, speaking of Mordreds, there is one in here somewhere. <laughs> uh, the PSA 10 I had that uh, I loved so much, I did cross grade. I also cross graded the 9. I don't expect much from that, but that went in the bulk order. The PSA 10 one is uh, in this order somewhere. Okay, we got a triple 10 on the Roxy trial deck. Okay, we're very excited with that. Not going to complain there, that's for sure. Uh, looks like corners. I did not see anything wrong with this one when I sent it in. Uh, uh, there's a little something there that I don't remember when I sent it in. Uh, that's interesting. All right, well, we're still happy with the 10 on it, that's for sure. So it's an expensive 10. All right, we got a 9.5 on the SSP. Uh, this is actually ironic. Uh, so today I just got my mind back, uh, April 12th, in fact. Uh, I saw the specific day today. Uh, I did order one of these uh, from a gentleman overseas. Uh, it has been in U.S. Customs since April 19th. Uh, so he actually gave me my money back today on it, because I had asked him about it yesterday. And, uh, that's unfortunate, because I really would have liked to get his. His is definitely good. What what got hit on the surface? Um, yes, I don't remember seeing... Oh, okay, there's a little dot on the surface up here. I don't think that deserves a 9. But there's probably something I'm not seeing... Uh, there's a little dot down here, too, I guess. All right. Either way, there is one of our Roxies. Well, actually, a second of our Roxies, since we already did the trial deck. Okay, we got a 9.5 on the Nino. Um, I don't remember why, but I saw, like, two or three of these for sale, and I just kind of bought them. I'm not entirely sure why. Uh, but we do have that. Uh, this one may be for sale at some point. Uh, I think that's the first card I would be willing to sell. Ooh. Well, Battle Spirits. That is definitely going to be our Ariel. So, she did come in gold, which is nice. Uh, I didn't think she was super perfect. Uh, I remember one of the corners had a little something on it. Yeah, the top left corner has, like, the smallest little thing, so... There's a good chance it's a 9.5. It is a 9.5. Okay, very nice. So we got the Aerial Rebuild. Very cool. The, uh, what rarity is this? The X rarity. The X secret. Okay. Very nice. 
we're definitely happy with that one. Uh, we're very happy we pulled it in our opening as well. That was the main card we wanted out of the whole set. Okay, so next is, I think the rest should be one or two Fate and then uh, Mashoku, I'd imagine. Oh, actually Senjo Gahara. Okay, I remember this. Uh, a little worse subgrades than I expected. But uh, I definitely knew she was not perfect, that's for sure. I was expecting the 9-5. I thought I'd get, like, a quad 9-5, though. But no complaints there. 9-5 is a 9-5. So we got that Senjo Gahara. I think the other Ninos I sent with the bulk order, now that I'm thinking about it. Wow, that, that label is really far off. Man, I've seen a few of them all. A little far off in the order so far, but this one's insane. Okay, our next card is... Oh, there we go. We got the Sig. Very cool. Uh, this one actually uh, came from the person I bought my PSA 10 uh, Mordred from. I mean, it was raw, obviously, when I got it, but uh, it came from him. So that's pretty cool. Nice 9.5. On an older card like that, we're pretty excited just to see the 9.5s, honestly. Alright. I think I sent another one bulk as well. And we have a Sylphet. Nice looking 10. A little bit off on centering. You know, that's fair. I will say that is fair. The 9.5 on centering. Understandable. Okay. And... We have three more golds left, and then we get to go into our three black labels. I'm so excited. First time we've opened black labels, actually. Uh, we got a Eris SSP. Surface 9. No, that's on the case. I don't know about this one, champ. I remember this one being pretty nice. There's something up here. I swear, these cards get fucking damaged every time I send them in. I find new things on the cards. But even that shouldn't give it a 9 for surface. I don't see anything on the front. Okay, well, it is what it is. So we know that's not our 10. Alright. And our next gold is the Eris SP. Uh, this one I th think, unless I sent them both, oh no, I sent the one that the guy sent me, uh, that had the couple dots on it, I sent that bulk. Okay, I remember this now. Okay, so we got the Eris SP, very cool. And what do we have here? Dun 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 dun, our last gold is, oh, hell yeah, she did cross and do a 10. Uh, don't get me wrong, if she crossed into a black label, I would have just absolutely blown my load. But very nice. I'm glad she crossed into a 10. I was kind of scared she was going to get a 9.5, to be honest. Oh, that's very nice. All right. Okay, we're very happy with that. Oh, no. I can think of two of the cards that are probably black labels, I guess. Because uh, I think I sent them the same time. One of which I did not want black label. I don't care about the card. <laughs> so let's see if that is one of them. Oh, ho, 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 ho. oh, I guess I sent two of these in. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, indeed. Oh, boy. <laughs> that's, a, that's a pretty good black label to pull. I appreciate it. Okay. All right, we're happy. Wow. All right, that's definitely a good one to have. Uh, I definitely want to see what the... I'm curious what the pop is on that one. I'm just going to check. I think the order form should say the pop numbers. All right, so... This page doesn't matter. Oh, actually, I don't want to because I'll definitely spoil myself for the other black labels. Okay, so let's just get through these. Oh, we got the Roxy SP as a black label. Very good. Very, very nice. All right. 
happy with that one. All right, and our last black label, I'm pretty sure I know what it is. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I know what it is. It is. I didn't know what it was. Oh my God. It cross graded into a black label? Holy shit, I love this Galane. Oh my God, I thought it was a Rudis. I must have just sent the Rudis off bulk. I probably sent both the Rudis off bulk. Oh my God. I cannot believe this cross graded into a black label. Actually, we pulled this one uh, in our Mashoku case opening. I'm pretty sure we pulled this one, didn't we? Oh no, we pulled the Roxy SSP. I don't know where I got this one. Whether I pulled another... I think I only did one case of Mashoku. For an opening, at least. I know I sold a lot of cases. but So I don't know where I bought this one from. But uh, that was a good purchase. I was happy when it got the PSA 10. But now that it's a fucking black label. Damn. Damn. All right, so a couple of the cross grades didn't work out too well. Most of them did, uh, including the black label, so we cannot be upset about that. Like I said, we have two more orders to go, uh, hopefully within the next month. One of them is a bulk order. I think that has seven or eight in it. And then uh, one of them was a normal service. So we're definitely getting that one back within a month. That, I think, only had five, and I'm pretty sure they were all Fate APOC. I'm pretty sure. Uh, I know the Berserker was in there. The Assassin was in there. I don't know what else was in there for sure. But I think it's all APOC. So, pretty excited about this opening. Definitely excited for uh, the rest of them to come back as well. But this was the main order we were super excited about. We got our first three black labels. That's amazing. Uh, a couple I really do think I'm going to send back in, though, for a regrade. Uh, some of them, the labels and the cases are kind of fucked up randomly. I'm not really sure why, but whatever. Uh, we'll probably send those in to get fixed as well. I'm pretty sure they do the fixing for free. Uh, with regrades and reviews, you have to pay the uh, full price. So that was exciting. We're happy. We're very happy, in fact, about that Galane. That that was nice. The only one we'd rather in a black label is the Mordred. That would have been uh, pretty damn great. Let's just check our... Uh, it should have pop, right? No, it doesn't have pop in here anymore. Okay, so I'd have to go into my invoice online and check the pops for the black labels, but either way, I'm happy to own them, that's for sure. Um, again, there's probably like two things in this entire order that'll be put up for sale at some point. Uh, most of them are staying with me, but I hope you guys enjoyed watching the opening. Uh, I had a lot of fun, and it's felt like torture waiting for this box. They also sent it on a Friday, which means uh, it took extra days to come in. So it was it was pretty torturous. But we're here. We have the cards. We're excited for them. And uh, that's really all that matters in the end. So hope you guys enjoyed. I will be having a Slime Volume 3 opening for a case opening. You'll see it Friday. Um, I'll be doing that. Uh, well, the video's kind of already done. But I'll be uh, uploading the video to go live on Friday like always. So we will have some more Weiss content this week. Uh, I don't know when the next thing I have planned is, though. So we'll just, we'll just have to see. But thanks for sticking around. Thanks for, uh, you know, enjoying this and sharing this time with me. I appreciate it. And hope you all have a good one. Peace.